What is up, gang? It's your boy Serato, and I felt it was time for another video. Now, this one in particular is going to be a fun yeah, one. Why? We're going to be doing a repeat of an old design that I did a few years ago, but on a new Kobe design. It's actually the same Kobe AD 360s, but a different colorway, so it's going to be slightly different than the first iteration of this design, but we're going to be using a Naruto Akatsuki theme, and it's going to be pretty dope, bro. Like, um, I'm going to show you guys the older pictures. I actually made these originals for Julian Strother. He actually plays for the Denver Nuggets right now. Check him out. My boy's doing dope. Check him out. Congrats, my guy. Congrats. Well deserved. Well deserved. Because of the success of this first iteration that we did and everybody seeing these, of course, I've had people asking me to recreate these pieces all the time, but I just haven't done it. Why not do it now? So I got a new client to give me a new order. And the idea is basically just to do the exact same thing, although I'm going to spice it up a little bit. I'm going to tweak it a little bit. Make sure he gets a unique piece. You know, I never do the exact same thing twice. Never. So without any further ado, let's get in the studio and uh, get to it. But first, a message from our sponsor. Me, bruh. Welcome to Baltimore Inc. What I do when I'm not on YouTube, I tattoo. So come on, check it out. 107 West Saratoga, Baltimore. Come by, come by, come by. Set up an appointment, man. Let's do some anime shit in real life. Come on. And stick around to the end. I got something I'd love to share with you guys. All right, here we go. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and unlace these shoes, take out all the stuffing, cut off the tags from StockX. Maybe see the cat. Then I'm gonna write my details out from my order, what the client wanted, mask off the shoe for what I need, cover up every little thing that I do not want to get paint on. Then it's time to go ahead and hop on the computer, start cutting out my references, print out my uh, reference pictures for my portraits, and then find any other logos and accessory stuff that we need to add to the shoe so I can get that in my Silhouette Cameo program and get that cut out. I measure each one of these and place it to the shoe before I cut them so I'm not wasting materials and I make sure everything fits. I always print a couple of extra on each sheet. So let's go ahead and lay down that base coat. These shoes are suede, so no need to acetone. Just get right to it. We're gonna start with the toe cap, lay down our Akatsuki clouds. I changed the direction on them this time, just switch it up just a little bit, made them a little bigger. And real slow and delicately, I'm gonna just layer on this white trim around the clouds. And now Sasuke time. I picked this image because that Renegon eye just looks so much cooler, like kind of bulging, like he's really about to use that thing, you know what I'm saying? Get out my man's way. It's about as much of an action pose as you can get when you're just looking at the eyes. So I'm using my cut in place technique here to just line in all of our proportions, make sure everything is accurate 100% to the actual image from the show. And then I'm gonna put my finisher over top of this to seal it before we start painting back over top. But before we do that, we gotta get the rest of our logos on. all these out before we spray the background colorway. I'm gonna try to keep it that, that you know, Naruto classic navy. Fade it to black though, so we get that contrast from our other brighter colors from our portrait, but it also give us a nice way to fade that portrait out to the rest of the shoe. So just mixed all my paints. start layering it on the suede eats paint man you gotta lay it on thick so a couple of layers for each one each section each spot each line this definitely took a little work
Now, when I'm doing my line work, you guys will see me kind of bounce back and forth between a ballpoint pen, sometimes it's really a gel pen, that's what you need specifically, and an actual black lining brush. I think it's like a 0.5, almost like a horse hair brush. Um, and basically just use that to kind of go back and forth. Sometimes once you paint over top of slate or something like that, the gel pen won't actually write properly. Um, so then you'll need to either add a layer of finisher and then go back with the gel pen, or you'll need to actually just switch to a paint brush, like I said, a hairline brush and just do it the hard way. So. Um, uh, I like to use a combination of both just to speed the process up. Then we're going to get our accessory logos added now that we're done all of our portrait work. Now it takes a couple of layers to actually get these small accessory logos on the tongue here. A lot of suede is untouched up here as we had it masked. So you gotta be really careful with the heat while you're adding these layers on that you don't burn through holes on the shoe. You don't want holes on the shoe. Now let's take a final look. Yeah, man, I think they came out pretty saucy, pretty saucy. Um, only kind of issue I had with these, they actually were painted pretty smooth. The only issue I had with these was actually the masking process, keeping the tape in place on some of these crazy curves up the side of the shoes and, you know, the all, all the midsole is not like a straight line or anything. It's pretty straight, but it's got, you know, curves and it moves and it goes around and then uh, it's, it's hard to tape it and keep that stuff on for the whole entire process of doing this without ruining the part of the shoe that I don't want to get any paint on. So came a little close there for a little bit, but other than that, the only issue is maybe this kind of suede design here actually caused a lot of paint absorption. So it took a lot of layers to actually get this stuff to stick. A lot of layers, a lot of uh, finisher and then paint back over and then finisher and paint back over to kind of build up the, you know, the, the resistance of the paint kind of seeping into that suede suede and that suede color wanting to kind of shoot back through so i don't know what that is chemical resistance or whatever but um took took a little bit of extra work to get these on here so i think they came out pretty dope let me know what you guys think what's your favorite mode from naruto is it sage mode is it six pass i don't know you tell me what's your favorite naruto character actually that's better now don't you go through life worrying about whether somebody like you or not you best be making sure they're doing right by you you understand what i'm saying bro where are the employees why is the post office always like this Bro, that was just about the dumbest shit ever. Can you... Have y'all... How, how many of y'all actually ship stuff at the post office? Y'all ever been to the post office, bro? When y'all go in there, do it be 14 months in line, and then it be one open person on a register, taking a sweet-ass time with one person for 20 minutes while there's a whole line around the block? Because I feel like that shit happen around here all the goddamn time. And this is why they're going out of business. Straight up. I should have went to FedEx. All right, so now that the work is over, the job is done, it's complete. Let me show y'all what I've been up to. Life been really life That's why I've been slow on the channel. But it's for good reason. Your boy done got married. Check it out. So like I said, life's been life and it's, it's been holding me up on the content creation side of things, but we're finally back in the full swing of regular things and uh, I'm ready to get back to it. So make my day, okay? Help me out by hitting the like button on this video. If you're new, subscribe. And if you like this new presentation style, let me know. Comment whatever you want. I'm trying to talk to you guys in the comments. So let's get this channel back rolling. And I'll see you guys on the next one.